Sweet. Okay, so we're gonna start with the slide up to the eleventh fret on the G string. So it can be a two fret slide, or if you want to be crazy, you can do like a like an eleven fret slide. Depends on the sound you want to go for. Either is acceptable. It's a pretty quick slide on the album, so I'm gonna do a two fret. So on the eleventh of the G, and then to the twelfth of the B. So. So we've got sort of this D shape here that we're going for. So 11 to 12 twice. And then back to the 11. So all together we've got. And then we go back to the 12 and slide up to the 14th. So. I recommend doing that slide with your middle finger or your second finger because you're going to need your first finger to go up to the 11th on the high E string. So, so far we've got. And then there we're going to come back down to the 14th of the B. So. And then we'll slide back down to the 12th of the B. So all together we've got. And then we're gonna go up to the high E and play uh, an 11 and then hammer on the 12. And then pull it back off. So. And then we're gonna go to the 12th of the B and slide up to the 14th. And then back down, so. And then back to the 11th of the G. And this time we're actually going to go down to the 9th and the 8th. So. And then you'll, you'll pick the 8th and the 9th. And then you have the choice of either sliding up to the 11th or picking up to the 11th. Or both. So, here's what we've got. And so that's the first half of the phrase right there. So if you can do that, you can play the rest of it. So that phrase repeats again. So I'll play through it one more time and then we'll repeat it. And then repeat. So right there, instead of sliding up, I pick that and we're gonna pick the next few notes. So, and I'm muting with my palm to cut off the notes short to give it a sort of staccato sound, so. And then, we'll do this really familiar phrase. So, 11, 12, hammer on, pull off on the high E. And then we go to the 12th of the B and slide up to the four, 14th. And back down. And then you just play the 14th of the high E. And then at a different point on the album, after the first time we do that, we go. You can slide up to it, and then we'll do a little and slide up from the 14th to the 16th. And the cool thing about the solo is you can really, because of the scale shape of the D, You can really ride it however you want. So you don't have to be set in stone like it is on the on the album. So I'll do one more playthrough, real slow. You can always add that in there if you've got a bunch of frets. Anywho, so that's the solo for Everlasting by In His Steps. All your tabs and your practice tracks and everything you need will be in the description of this video. Everlasting, I think, yeah, that, that it's in the song, man. It's Psalm 103, I believe, is what we got it from. Psalms 103. Yeah was where it was from. And uh, if you don't know that, uh, go read it because that's where everlasting comes from. Psalm, one, Psalm 103 
and it's a powerful passage. And I pray that you shred away and you enjoy this song and that it ministers to you and anybody else that you come across. So thank you guys so much, and uh, God bless Jam Nation out there, Jezebel Music. James, thank you so much, man. No problem. Yeah.